John and Ken Show. John Cobell and Ken Shampo. KFI AM 640. The state Senate has passed a bill amounting to a 63 cent tax on a gallon of gas. It's a complicated global warming bill, but it will result in gas prices going up by 63 cents a gallon over the next three and a half years. It's going to bring in billions of dollars and 25% 25% of that is going to go for Jerry Brown's high-speed rail. That is the latest atrocity out of Sacramento. They got a two-thirds vote, 27 to 12. They bought off a Republican named Tom Berryhill, who's termed out and doesn't care. Now he's from uh, the Northern Stockton area. Yes. I'm not Stockton. Fresno, Modesto area. That's yeah, where he's from, Central yeah. Valley. We don't know what he got in return for this, but John's right. He's termed out. Uh, we just thought we'd play you some of the audio. The vote was taken just... 15 or 20 minutes ago, you'll hear Josh Newman's name called just because he's subject to a recall with our listeners. And then you'll hear Barry Hill. Let's go. Barry Hill. Aye. There you go. Newman. Aye. Aye. Aye's 27. There you go. go. That's the 27 votes. That's Newman saying aye to a 63 cent gas hike. How about that? Was it that fry you? No in end Orange to this. County. There's no end to this. This, this year, more than any and, other, we just keep fighting off all these increases and everything. He was asked directly about it Saturday, and he wouldn't answer the question. We even had a, a lister on who asked him directly, and he he wouldn't give an answer. Aye. That's the answer. There's Newman's eye. You just lost six hundred dollars. That I cost you six hundred dollars. If, if that if this thing passes the assembly, and it's worthless. I mean, it's really worthless. At least you can go on a wing and a prayer that the last gas tax might fix a few roads. This is nothing. You can. You will this, benefit- is, this is about the air. I mean, and your money's going to vanish into thin air. It's for nothing. It's just to show. Oh well, actually, no. It's going to go over to the brown doggle. Yeah. Jerry Brown's it's going to enrich high-speed rail train. Politically connected people who get contracts building scraps of the the high-speed rail. It's far from enough to build the thing, but it keeps some contracts going along. Now, so there's they, another story I read in the Wall Street Journal that uh, they might want to devote billions from this cap and trade money to get everyone in electric cars within the next ten or fifteen years. They have tried that since around 1990, and it's never worked. They're two percent right now. The states, yeah, 2%. not enough people want it. It's almost so a rounding error. They end up, uh, they end up. I remember uh, during one of these electric car subsidy deals, they had to subsidize golf courses that bought dozens of golf carts, and then they jiggered the law to say, okay, you know, two percent of the state uh, is now now has electric cars. Because they had rows and rows of electric golf carts at various courses. I'm guessing that this is Berry Hill's statement here that we it looks like Ray just. Well, yeah. Years of aggressive climate change policies focused on us by the coastal elites who run Sacramento. But instead of sitting on the sideline and watching everything go off a cliff, I was able to ensure farmers, small business owners, and rural Californians were well represented and protected in the negotiation. 63 cents a gallon. This is nonsense. That the, the phony argument they're using, and by the way, this was a bipartisan phony argument that everybody agreed to, is that if we, you don't do this bill to raise the 63 cents in gas taxes, then CARB will take over, and through its bureaucratic uh, authority, we'll come up with even worse. Yeah, that's the scare show but, they tried to. Yeah, but it's a false choice. Neither should happen. Neither CARB nor the legislature should be putting these kinds of burdens on business, or or uh, residents, because there's nothing they they can't they can't do anything about the climate. They can't do anything. Nothing. 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 Well, this, this is, is interesting. This is going to cost tons of jobs. This may be what he's trying to bring home here. According to the L.A. Times story over the weekend, a coalition of farm groups say they're opposed to the proposal unless they get firm commitments that nearly 19 percent of the money from the cap and trade revenues will go to agricultural interests. See, what do they want? More water? <laughs> I don't know. They, maybe, that maybe, may have been the deal he negotiated for them. We don't know yet. Berry Hill. Yeah, but that's the thing. They're, they're trying to get some of the cap and trade money for the farmers. There's a gun to everybody's head. You have to uh, agree to some version of this or we'll make it worse. Right. 
And none of this should happen. Anyway, you're paying 63 cents more a gallon if this passes the assembly. That that that's what and that is the goal. That is the real absolute goal to get a hold of billions of dollars and then spread the goodies out. And one of the big uh recipients is high speed rail. All right, well we'll see. You're the being tra- hosed. We'll see who the traders are in the assembly. Yes. Probably not before the show ends, but maybe. Coming up. John and Ken, KFI.